Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today is going to be my comparison between all of the Dolce flankers. I do have all six of them starting with the original Dolce going all the way to this year's Dolce Shine. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts and hearing about the notes and the differences between all of the flankers, please just keep watching. I am getting all of my notes from Fragrantica, so if you are interested in learning more about fragrances, that is a great place to look. We're going to start with Dolce. This one came out in 2014. The notes are Neroli Leaf, Papaya Flower, White Amaryllis, Narcissus, White Water Lily, Cashmere, and Musk. So quite a few different scents. This is unlike any other fragrance in my collection. I really love this one. As you can see, like I've used a whole lot of this. This is the 1.6 ounce or 50 mil. It's, yeah, you can tell I've used a whole bunch of it. This is one that I will be repurchasing when I finish it. I originally was struck by the bottles because I love that flower on the top. It is supposed to be reminiscent of marzipan that they ate as ch children in Italy. And I just, I love it. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. Just light and fresh, slightly fruity, slightly, like it smells kind of fruity even though there's not a lot of fruit notes in there, but it's not like a sicky sweet fruity. It's just really blended well, a nice white floral, light. I think this could be used year round or it, it might be more of a spring scent for some, but I feel like this is a, just a really solid perfume. So that is Dolce, that is the original of these flavors. Next up is Floral Drops. This one took me a few years to get. This was the first of the flankers. This came out in 2015. And it again, they are very similar from the top. They look almost identical. It's just that frosted glass versus the clear glass. So the notes in Floral Drops are Neroli Leaf and Papaya Flower once again, Amaryllis, Daffodils, Water Lily, Cashmere, Musk, and Sandalwood. So I will admit, part of the reason why it took me a little longer to get this perfume is because I didn't like it as well as the original and some of the other flankers that had come out, plus they were expensive. And I did get this one, I believe I got this one from Zulily, so I eventually found this one on sale. And there is a lot of discount sites that do have them. Does the flower look crooked or is that just me? Anyway, so this one did take me a little bit of time and then when I got it, I didn't really love it. Smelling it now and wearing it as I was preparing for this video, I do really like this. I feel like it's very, very similar to me to the original one. So I don't really think you need both of them. I probably would still pick the original over this, but I do think this one's really beautiful too. This is a less fruity type of scent. Feels more florally, just a straight white floral to me, but that is floral drops. That's the second flanker. I guess it would be the second bottle, not the second flanker, because this is technically the second flanker. This is Dolce Rosa Excelsa. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit of this one too. I have had this one for several years as well. Um, I Once I got the original one, I really wanted to try some of the other ones and I went through a huge rose phase and bought several different rose scented perfumes. This also has papaya blossom and neroli leaves, white amaryllis, white water lily, white da daffodil, and then it has African dog rose and Turkish rose absolute. Then it has sandalwood, musk, and cashmere in the base as well. This one, oh, I really love this one. I do love rose scents though. I do have a pretty extensive rose collection. And this one I feel is just really nice and fresh. Those white flowers really temper it. So it doesn't feel overwhelming or slightly peppery that sometimes roses can smell peppery, especially to me, like my grandpa had garden, a garden full of roses. And since they weren't like hybrids and the ones that we find in the stores, they all smelled very peppery to me. And so I get a lot of pepper sometimes in two straight of roses, but this one is just beautiful. I love the composition that white flowers with the rose is just absolutely beautiful. This is also my best friend's favorite 
one of her favorite perfumes and she was looking for a refill of it and it's discontinued now so if you do want this one go look in those discount sites and you might be able to find one but yes I, I love it I would highly recommend that one so all of the ones up until now have been those 50 mils I did get a 75 mil on this one and then the next one as well just because they didn't have the 50 mils I don't believe or it was either that or I was trying to get the free gift and it was they were close enough in price that I just upgraded. So this is Dolce Garden. This one came out in 2018, so there was a little break between Flora, or Rosa Excelsa, and the garden. The notes in this are Mandarin Magnolia Neroli, Frangipani Lang Lang Coconut, Vanilla Almond Milk, and Woods. Now, I think because this does veer so much from the original formula. It doesn't have that papaya blossom or that, um, did it have neroli? It does have neroli. I don't like this one. Um, it's funny because I was just watching a video. Somebody's like, I don't know anybody who doesn't love this one. And I was like, I don't really like it. Uh, the coconut with the almond just doesn't sit well with my nose. I think it's very light and, but it's a little sicky sweet to me. I feel like if you like the Boom Boom Cream, which almost everybody does, you probably would like this because I feel like they're kind of similar veins. But this one, I just, I don't, it doesn't mesh well with my chemistry. And this one is not one that I would recommend for myself. I think that if you like coconut and you like those other flowers, then you would like this. But this one is just, it's funny because this doesn't smell like a garden to me. This smells more tropical and in a tropical in a weird way. I don't know. I don't love this one. It's crazy. I know. I'm like the only person who doesn't, who isn't in love with it. All right. The fifth one in this series is Dolce Peony. This one came out last year in 2019. This is Bergamot Nashi Pear Pink Pepper Peonies Freesia Bulgarian Roses uh, Yellow Mirabelle Plum Nectar Woodsy Notes of Patchouli Honey and Amber. So there's a lot going on in this one. To me, this one is very sharp. There's a note in there, and it maybe it's because the bergamot's so high. I thought I liked bergamot, but this one just is so sharp. When I take the cap off, I'm just like, it kind of gives me a slight headache because it's such a sharp kind of, it's a citrus, kind of sharpness, but mixed with something else. And it could be with that pink pepper, that combination just isn't meshing well. This is not one that I like. I feel like this is probably the least friendly of them all, the least, especially the least um, blind buy friendly. I just, yeah, this one is not one that I would recommend. I think this is probably, well, I'm gonna rank them in a little bit, but this is probably my least favorite of the line. Finally, this year's flanker is Dolce Shine. This one is the newest one, obviously, since it came out this year. The notes are mango, grapefruit, quince, I think that's how you say it, jasmine, orange blossom, tuberose, solar notes, oceanic, ozonic, ozonic notes, and sea salt, white woods, Australian sandalwood, and white musk. This one, to me is sunshine in a bottle. Like, yes, it says it's shine is the name. It is so good. I really love this. This I think is a great summer scent. Like if I wore this every day, I would be happy and I would just be cheerful. I haven't used a lot of it because it is one of my newer perfumes in my collection, but oh my gosh, I love this one. That mango is, I just really love the smell of mango and it just tempers everything, makes it a little bright and sunshiny. I love it. So this is one that I would definitely, I was trying to look at the notes. I love Jasmine as well. I love this one. This is definitely one that I would highly, highly recommend finding. All right, ranking them. Very, very difficult first off. Just, it's, I feel like there's several of them that could just be ties. I'm gonna put in first my favorite as Dolce, the original one, just because this is unlike anything I've had in my collection before or since. It's just beautiful and light and I just really love it. And I think, you know, if you like Chloe, I think you would probably like this one as well. 
In second place, I'm going to put Dolce Shine. This one, I, I had a hard time. I wanted to put this one first for a minute, and then I was like, you know, I feel like this one is less a year-round. I could see wearing the original a little bit more year-round, so I'm going to put this one at number two. It's so good. I just, I really love it. In third place, I have Dolce Rosa Excelsa. Like I said, I love this one. I've worn this one so much. I don't wear it quite as much, especially like if I'm going to be around my best friend because we don't want to smell the same. Um, I mean, sometimes you do, but that's why I put this one just a little lower. I do really love this one. If you like roses, I think this is a really good one to get. In fourth place, I'm going to put Dolce Floral Drops. When I initially thought I was going to do this video, I thought, you know what? I'm going to put Floral Drops in last place because I like it the least. But actually, this has really grown on me. I'm really excited to wear this some more. Actually, I haven't put on scent today because I knew I was going to film this. My nostrils are already like a little overwhelmed with all of the flowers. But I'm going to wear this today as my scent because I just, I really do like it. I think it's really, really good. In fifth place, I am going to put Dolce Garden. I know this is going to be like blowing people's minds. I just don't love it. There's just, I think it's the coconut mix with the almond and I do like almond. I have other scents that I just think are better blended and I just like a little bit more that don't quite give me the same feeling. And then in last place or sixth place is Dolce Peony. Like I said, it's just really sharp. I'm getting a headache now from it. I just, yeah, this is not my favorite. This is not the one that I would recommend. It's, I feel the least universal of the bunch. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Would you rank them differently? Have you tried all of the Dolce's? Did this help you decide which one to get or not? I love reading your comments and having conversations with you down below. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. If you have not already subscribed, please do consider subscribing and liking this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.